I punched my wife's best friend after she touched me inappropriately. She is lying and saying I essayed her. Hey everyone, lurker here. I've tried posting this from a different account however it did not work so I hope this works. I've, 35M, been with my beautiful wife, 34F, for close to 10 years. We have no kids as of now. My wife's best friend, Amy has been friends with my wife for about 15 years, all throughout college where I originally met my wife. Me and Amy haven't ever been the best of friends however we've been cordial for the sake of my wife. I've always found her to be obnoxious, loud and entitled. The kind that inserts herself into any and every conversation, whether that be on a night out with friends or a private conversation. For example, myself and my best friend were talking about fertility issues in his marriage during a dinner with our long-time friends, we were quiet enough so that nobody could hear us over the chatter yet she found a way to be nosy and make a comment on how she would kill herself if she couldn't do the one thing a woman was made to do. This pissed off my best friend, Max and his wife to the point where they excused themselves and left early to go home. Now onto the actual situation at hand. Amy's boyfriend, Khalid had left her due to her annoying personality. I think it was more of a build-up but what set him off was when Amy purposely did not feed their dog while he was on a work trip because he was sleeping while she was drunk and calling him to collect her. That's only the tip of the iceberg. Amy has always been weird with me. She has constantly tried to DM me on Instagram, trying to make conversation about gossip in our friend group or completely random things. I have always ignored her. My wife has always seen past her strange behavior, she refused to believe her dearest best friend would have ill intentions. Anyway, after their breakup, Amy came over to our house to see my wife. My wife was feeling ill on this day so she took pills to help her sleep and fell asleep in a matter of an hour. I could not ask Amy to leave in the state she was in so for my wife I suggested she could sleep in the guest bedroom. She agreed and went to bed. I was in the kitchen cleaning up after dinner and she waltzed into the kitchen with nothing but undergarments on. She acted shocked and claimed she didn't know I was still in the kitchen. I felt extremely uncomfortable and decided to call it a night. However, she started stripping and approaching me, telling me how my wife doesn't have to know and she's seen the way I've looked at her. I was completely baffled and told her she's gotten the wrong idea and to be ashamed to do this to her own best friend while I try to scurry out of the kitchen. However she practically leapt in front of me and touched my privates. Without a second thought, I hit her. I know I could have easily pushed her but in the moment I panicked and punched her in the face. Her eye was left bruised. She started wailing, enough that my wife woke up and stumbled in the kitchen to see her best friend, naked and bruised. She then went on about how I tried to rape her and that I'm a disgusting human being and she should divorce me. I snapped back that she approached me, naked and a rejection wasn't enough for her to back off so I punched her, hence the bruise. My wife didn't say anything. Instead she fainted and I immediately brought her to the hospital. My wife is now okay but refuses to talk to me about what happened. On the other hand, Amy has now accused me of attempting to have sex with her in our friend group. The majority of people don't believe her but there's a few who live by always believe a rape accusation. The other half told me I fucked up by punching her and fueling this anger. Amy has ruined my life. I'm afraid my wife will divorce me and this goes to court. I've already contemplated suicide many times. I don't know where to go from here. What do I do? Where do I go from here? Any advice is appreciated. Edit, I know this story sounds absurd and I wish it were fake but it is not. The unnecessary details were brought in to point an overall picture of her character. I guess it is worth mentioning my wife feels like she owes her life to Amy for getting her out of an abusive household when they were teenagers. They are practically like sisters. Amy was also not drunk. Edit 2, a few things I would like to clarify to avoid confusion. 1. Amy claims to have gone to the kitchen to get a glass of water not knowing I was still there. She then claims I took advantage of her. 2. This incident happened at approximately 3 a.m. It is now 8 a.m. 3. She came up with this story and posted it in our group chat right after she went back home. 4. Majority of our friend group have to get up early for their responsibilities hence how this misinformation has spread like wildfire. I have been getting individuals DMs on advice and opinions since where I've concluded the majority are on my side, some say I shouldn't have punched her and the rest believe her. 5. My wife has been up all night and refuses to talk to me. I have not tried to push her to talk to me. For now, she needs time to process it. Update 1. First of all, I want to thank everyone for their support, input and advice which I have used profusely in this situation. On the other hand, a lot of people thought this story was fake or some sort of gross fantasy. It was not. I am still suffering the aftermath of what has happened. I have not slept nor ate since. For the people who proceeded to say I should have had sex with Amy or me calling me a sicko, I truly hope you find peace in your lives. And to the comments calling me an ah, which were interestingly mostly from men, I truly hope you treat the women in your life with the same respect and equality they deserve. Now on to the update, a lot has happened in the past 9 hours. Someone made a suggestion to text Khalid and so I did. Khalid was just as distraught as me and admitted that this was in fact, not the first time she has screamed rape, just like some of you had suspected. She has threatened to scream rape to use Khalid to stay in the relationship with her. 
he got out of it by installing cameras without her knowledge and contacting a lawyer in case she went through with her claims. This worked in my favor. He was very supportive and sympathetic. I confronted Amy with all the fallacies in her story and mentioned the existing evidence Khalid still had if she was interested in taking her claims to the court. She panicked and told me no. Apologized and said she wasn't in her right mind after the breakup. I got her to admit this in the group chat as I am not interested in false rumors spreading about me in case someone was still unsure of the situation. She shortly left the GC and has cut off contact with everyone. In other words, has become unreachable. I explained to my wife what had happened, she had seen all the messages with her confession anyway. My wife told me she genuinely didn't know who to believe and was contemplating divorce in that moment. I was heartbroken. I told her I needed time to process everything that had happened in the past 14 hours. I will be sleeping in the guest bedroom tonight. I am happy she believes me now but it doesn't sit well with me that it took an actual confession out of Amy for my wife to side with me. I have been with my wife for 10 years and would expect her to know me better than that. But at the same time, she didn't know Amy was capable of something like this in 15 years. My marriage has definitely taken a hit with this situation. Although, I love my wife and have seen past every other time she has defended Amy, this situation is something I can't get over overnight. I thank you all for helping me navigate this situation. Edit, I am very aware and understanding of my wife's situation. She feels indebted to Amy and there's definitely power play at hand. However, my wife has laughed off the incident and dismissed the fact of how traumatizing it was for me. She still refuses to see Amy as the villain and is blaming it on the emotional heartbreak of her breakup. Update 2. So it's been a bit over two months since the incident occurred. Needless to say it's been a hectic two months. In short, my wife's best friend, Amy, forced herself onto me, I hit her, she accused me of S.A., wife believed Amy until she was backed into a corner and confessed to the truth, wife didn't give much importance when it came to me and proceeded to laugh it off and call it a big misunderstanding. Now for the actual update, I tried to make it work. I really did. For two months I tried to brush it off and dealt with wife still having frequent hangouts with Amy and telling me about them all excitedly as if her own best friend didn't just try to have sex with me. However the last straw was a few days ago where my wife was telling me how her and Amy are planning a trip to Greece for the summer holidays and how she can't wait to finally have a break from life's stresses. I simply said nothing and walked away from her. She followed me and asked me if everything was okay and I straight up told her how I can't believe she would dismiss the fact that Amy accused me of rape when in actual fact she forced herself onto me and how when it came to Amy, she believed her and was willing to divorce me on the spot but when it came to me, she brushes it off and continues to have her girly hangouts with the very friend who tried to destroy our marriage. I blatantly told her she doesn't care for me. My wife started bursting into tears and had the audacity to ask me at that again? Why can't you just get over it? I don't know why I thought she would have listened now. I had enough at that point and told her we're getting a divorce. Walked away and started to pack my suitcase as she tried her hardest to stop me. Pulling my shirt, hitting me, throwing things, going from calling me names to begging me to stay. I walked out and am now staying at a hotel while her and her family blow up my phone. I don't know what to do. Update, my wife seems to have found this post and put the pieces together. I may have to terminate this account. There has been no update since.